Here's the thing about Buffy. <laughs> Stop! Okay. You're not gonna sweat in bed when you're using the buff stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look who I've got, it's Michael. It's me. Recently I've been making an Instagram TV series called In the Living Room with Lucy, where I sit right here in my living room and I kind of just talk about whatever is going on in my mind at the time. I recently did an episode about why the two of us chose to move in together before we actually got engaged or married, and people seemed really into it, everyone had something to say about the topic, and a lot of people asked for a similar type topic on YouTube, including Michael. I got my deodorant on you. <laughs> Can you guys see that? We're, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do what? Tell them about the deodorant. Here we are. I'm so sorry. So I didn't want to make the exact same video right away, so I'm not gonna do why we chose to move in together before getting married in this video, but maybe we'll do that down the line. Today, instead, I wanted to post a video sharing the things that we both learned about the other when we moved in together. Lots to cover. We have a lot to cover because we learned a lot. This video is sponsored by Buffy, which is one of my favorite sustainable and earth-friendly comforter and home goods companies. Stay tuned, a little bit later down the line, I will share with you the new product that we just got from them and also give you a discount code. They're amazing, but we'll move on to that soon. So we're just gonna kind of go back and forth and share the different things that we each learned about the other once we moved in together. And spoiler alert, we're still living together, so none of them are too crazy. Yeah, nothing forced the other to move out. Close, but not quite. So sorry about this. It happens. So the first thing I learned about Lucy when I moved in with her was how messy she can be. <laughs> I am. Yeah. No, at first she started leaving stuff around the apartment. I just thought, oh, like she'll clean that up later. But then some things just never really got cleaned up. It just became this thing where I was like, you know, is she gonna clean this up later? Or, or does she expect, you know, someone like Cinderella or Michael to come clean this up? I very similarly, but on the complete opposite end of the coin, <laughs> learn about Michael, first and foremost, how clean he is. I realized how you can't really function unless it's clean and how you would kind of like walk around the apartment, you'd see that I'm like leaving stuff out on the table or leaving dishes in the sink and you'll just sort of come up to me and be like, what is going on here? What are we doing here? And we had to have some convos. I just want to know what's going on. Like, I'm just curious. Oh, here's a good one. I didn't know this before we moved in together because even though we had sleepovers and stuff, we actually never showered in each other's showers because he had a roommate and I had a roommate. But I learned that this guy leaves a lot of hair behind <laughs> in the shower. I don't know if you can see his chest poking through. He's got a lot of chest hair, a lot of head hair, a lot of body hair, and it just falls off in the shower and it sticks to the floor, it sticks to the walls. <laughs> so I didn't really know how hairy you were, I guess. Yeah, not really much to say there. <laughs> Got a lot of chest hair. I love it all. I'm just saying I didn't realize it was going to be in the shower. Yeah, no, I, I know. Yeah. It's uh, it's something you signed up for when you moved in with me and when you got married to me. Sure did. I'm not the only one that has leaked hair in the shower. That's true. One of the things I learned about you actually <laughs> is that sometimes you know your hair will come out a little bit, a few pieces here and there in the shower. And I know what you're going to say. One of the things that's normal is, you know, it gets caught around the drain or like, you know, clogs it up a little bit. That's to be expected. But a little after I moved in with you, I started realizing that when I would go into the shower, I saw like stuck up against the shower, there would be just like clumps of your hair stuck to the wall and there's a reason for this yeah I was kind of unclear what that was about okay so I wash my hair a couple times a week the rest of the week I just like style it and I leave it it doesn't get oily fast so I don't wash it that often Smells good, right? Okay. But when I do wash my hair and I kind of run my fingers through it and I'm detangling it, a lot of my hair comes out and I don't want it to go down the drain because I don't want you to have to snake the drain. So instead of sending the hair down the drain, I just pull it off my fingers and I put it into a pile and then I stick it to the shower door like close to the exit so that as I'm on my way out, I remember to take it out and then I'll flush it down the toilet or just throw it in the garbage. Right. So, so are you saying that you just put it there and then you don't remember? Yeah, that's okay. exactly what happens. Okay. I put it there and then I forget and then you come in and you're like, ah, there's a squirrel! You're louder than I expected. I knew in that, what way? I knew that you were very loud to begin with. Your personality and your potential loudness is one of the things that I love about you. <laughs> but when we moved in together and we started doing a little bit more work together and more serious stuff, I realized that I don't do my best work necessarily when I'm right next to you. And part of that is because Lucy just 
you know, makes a lot of noises. What kind of noises? A lot of noises. Like, you know, she'll be working on something and snacking at the same time. There's, uh, often she'll be, you know, watching a video or doing some work on her computer. And there's lots, <laughs> there's, there's lots of noises that come out of the computer that typically people would, you know, listen to in their headphones. And when she types, oh, that's the biggest one. Don't even get me started there. Lucy is one of the, the loudest typers you will ever come across. I get it from my dad. He slams on the keyboard. Let's just be clear. I'm loud in the home, but I'm not a loud person out and about in the world, right? No, you're not a loud person. I'm not one of those people at a restaurant that everyone's looking at being like, that person's so loud. No, that's why it was a shock for me to learn when I moved in with you. The next thing I learned about you is that when you are in a bad mood from the day, mm -hmm. you come home and you're just in a really bad mood. Me? No, no, hold Never. on. Let me explain. <laughs> if something like <laughs> happened at work or school and I don't then- think you can use that word. I sure can. It's my channel. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I decided I can't use it, which is why I bleeped it out. When you come home and something crappy happens at school or at work, you will be just kind of like low energy in a bad mood. And on the contrary, if you're in a good mood, something good happened, or you're just like feeling good with life and in a happy position, you will be dancing around the house. And I don't think I saw you dance too much when we were just dating, but now that I live with you, it's like I catch you in moments where you're like hip thrusting or like, you know, you have music blasting and you're doing something silly and that's definitely something that I only saw once we shared a space. I dance sometimes. Should we cut to a dance break? No, we should definitely not cut to a dance break. <laughs> Alright, the next thing I learned about Michael is that as soon as the TV goes off at night, you fall asleep immediately. Yeah, right away. Yeah, right away. And I'm very lucky. Sometimes I struggle, sometimes I'm lying there 20 minutes trying to do breathing exercises and I can just tell that you're asleep because of the way your breathing pattern goes. Like you breathe differently when you're awake versus asleep. And we usually watch a TV show before bed. Right now we're binge watching Seinfeld. So we watch pretty much one episode every night and then we turn it off and it's like within 30 seconds you're in your sleep breathing. So you fall asleep really quickly. I didn't know that. I use up all, my, all the energy I need during the day. When I'm ready to go to bed, I'm, I'm ready. You just do so much hip thrusting that by the time it's time for bed, you're yeah, just knocked that, out That's cold. definitely related to the bed. I, I didn't realize before we moved in together that you actually enjoyed making the bed. I do. Well, I actually did it before we lived together. I actually uh, never made my bed in my life. And then when we moved in together and all of a sudden like I shared a bed with someone, I felt the need to make it look neat after getting it up. Yeah, I feel like it's part of also becoming an adult. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Becoming an adult, making the bed. Speaking of the bed, okay, this is a good time in the video for me to tell you about Buffy and give you the discount code. So Michael and I just got our brand new comforter from Buffy. They sell more than just comforters though. They also sell pillows and sheets, pretty much anything that you would need to turn your bed into a calming comfort zone. We just got our cloud comforter from them. And I finally realized why people love their products so much and it's because the Buffy products are made with ultra smooth eucalyptus fibers that are softer and more breathable than cotton. And we love breathable bedding because I get really hot and sweaty at night. Here's the thing about Buffy. <laughs> Stop, okay. You're not gonna sweat in bed when you're using the Buff stuff. Okay. And it's not only more comfortable, but eucalyptus fiber is actually way more earth friendly. And it's transformed into ultra smooth fiber through a waste free process. All of their products, so the comforters, the pillows, the sheets, they're all cruelty free and hypoallergenic. So there's no down feathers or animal products here at all. And don't just take it from me, but I think that overall they have about 17,000 five-star reviews and an overall rating of 4.5 stars. So pretty much everyone out there seems to love them. So Buffy offers a free trial, free shipping, and free returns every single day. So this is not a limited time offer, but you can always try Buffy on your bed for free before you actually commit to buying it. And then if you don't like it, you could just send it back free shipping and you didn't spend a penny. Personally, it just means so much to me that I can use a product in my everyday life that's so comfortable, but is also sustainable and good for the earth and not harming any animals. So I'm really excited about this one. And if you click on the link in the description box, you can get $20 off your Buffy bedding using code Lucy. Sorry for all the sounds. It's just New York. 
And like, what are we supposed to do about that? Still related to the bed. One of the things I learned about Lucy was the extent of her night terrors. So I knew this even when we were just dating before we lived together because we spent some nights together. She had some incidents back then, but I didn't realize until we moved in together that it was at that point, almost a nightly occurrence. <laughs> it was happening all the time. We should give him a little bit of background. This isn't like a nightmare, but I used to have frequent incidences where I would see insects or animals or occasionally people in the room when they weren't there. And a lot of times it was insects and animals and I would just freak out and yell at Michael that there were rats in the bed or spiders all over, which is just not good for him <laughs> to be woken up every night to my shrieks. It's not like I was having like nightmares or anything extreme. It was just seeing bugs. Yeah, no, it wasn't extreme at all. <laughs> Next thing I wrote for you, I didn't know this until actually more recently. I wouldn't even say this was a like, we moved in together and I discovered this. Yeah. But more recently, I'm starting to notice that Michael eats the same thing every single day. <laughs> Sometimes he adds variety because I encourage him to, but if it weren't for me, he would wake up every single morning and make himself the same breakfast. And then the thing about you is that you find these places in New York that you like for lunch. Like you'll say, I love the chicken bowl from here. I love this. and then you don't branch out. So you just like find what you like and you eat it over and over again. Whereas if I have mushrooms two days in a row, I'm like off mushrooms for the whole month. One of the things I learned from living with Lucy is that she loves change. We've only moved once at this point since we've been living together, but there have been lots of talks and conversations about potential moves. And then even within the apartment itself, she loves to move things around. I mean, even in, in your videos, you obviously talk a lot about different lifestyle trends and different things that you've tried and you take on a lot of those and adopt a lot of those and there's constantly new things and ideas floating around our house, which I like a lot. Yeah, I love changing things. The one thing I haven't changed is you. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the next thing that I learned about you is that, oh, speaking of change and not changing, you have a very tough time getting rid of stuff. So I hear what you're saying. I don't know if that's true. I feel like the way you operate is that if we have something that we're not sure if we want, your go-to suggestion is let's just put it in the closet. And if it's still here in five months and we haven't used it, then we'll figure out how to get rid of it. So we've had like a couple rugs that we never use rolled <laughs> up in our closet, really clogging up the door. Yeah. This isn't a negative. This is just an observation. <laughs> Gotcha, cool, cool. Yeah, no, definitely. It Basically, feels, it you're feels like a It feels like a positive. But at the same time, I feel like it also evens out because you just have a lot more stuff. It's true. To begin with. That was one of the things I learned about you, that you have a lot of stuff. I have, my clothes are much larger than yours. Which is one of the things I learned about you is that your, oh, yeah? your clothes and especially your shoes are so big. The amount of space that like a sweatshirt of yours takes up is equivalent to like my largest, largest bath towel. I've always like was attracted to you and your smell. Like I just never thought about it until we moved in together. I never realized that you smell so good. And it's not just after a shower. It's like your actual skin it smells like sweet and yeah, what else? very manly. And I okay. just, I love your smell. On that note, another thing I learned about you is that you do shower multiple times a day sometimes, which mm -hmm. could be why you smell so good. Yeah, I can't go a day without showering, that's for sure. Well, that's good. I would go, I'd say minimum one, maximum four. They're really short, but you're really squeaky clean. Oh, while we're on the subject of smells. So one of the things that I learned about Lucy and about us after we moved in together was that we have completely different tastes in what snacks are and what <laughs> snacks we choose to eat. So In what snacks are, Yeah, period. no, I feel like we just have different definitions of a, snack. of a snack. For you, the idea of a good snack is something related to sauerkraut or yogurt, which is normal, or capers. Mm, pickles, olives. Oh, pickles. Pickles is the one, yeah. <laughs> a pickle is on? God's tastiest snack. It's just preposterous. Loaded with salt, loaded with electrolytes. I guess another thing I learned about him when we moved in together is that he really likes plain and simple things. In our fridge, I mean, I like to have all these sauces and condiments and capers and fermented stuff. If it were up to him, would just have plain pasta in there with some like roasted grilled veggies, yeah. no sauce, no spices, no seasoning. Like he just wants it plain. Just give me some olive oil. Olive oil and, and salt is his 
dressing of choice. Okay, next thing that I learned about you, which I could only learn this after moving in with you because I only asked you to do this after we moved in together. Once I started asking Michael to be in videos with me and to sit and, you know, do YouTube with me occasionally, I learned that this guy needs maybe like two weeks notice that he's gonna be in a video. And that's because he just needs to be mentally prepped to go on camera, because this isn't something he does every day, as I do. I can't just say to him one morning, hey, can we shoot a video today? No, 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 I need to plant the seed weeks in advance. One of the things that I knew about Lucy, obviously before we moved in together, and that I absolutely loved about her, was just how much positive energy she has. Just a, a ball of positivity. And I figured when we moved in together that I would be exposed to a different side of her and that you know maybe she wasn't that positive all the time. And she's not, it's not 24 seven. Everyone, everyone has their, their ups and downs, but it's really astounding how much positive energy you have and just how nice you are to be around all the time. Well, one thing that I learned about you is that you are so mature, especially when we get into an argument, you let things go so easily. You'll just be like, okay, it's over, I'm sorry, like, let's move on. Yeah. Whereas I maybe will hold on to something. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. For a few hours. <laughs> I feel like when we moved in together, you still were of the mindset that like, you needed to be to be right and you didn't like to admit that you were wrong which is fine a lot of people are like that but not me i i'm not no i i just never was of the mindset that i had to be to always be right and yeah so even when i wasn't whatever i'll leave it at that you're right thank you i learned that you check the mail every day almost yeah until i shared a mailbox with you i didn't know this about you mm. but you come into the apartment and you go in the lobby you open the mailbox and you check for mail i I'm check really for mail maybe once a month Thanks. i learned that michael is really good at logistics that's another thing we discussed in our relationship is that personally i don't really like handling logistics and i don't think this is the type of thing that you can say like well everyone doesn't like logistics because here's someone who likes logistics really gets me up in the morning. Really wakes him right up, gets his day going, and he likes handling logistical things. Anything else? I think we're getting to the very end. The last thing I had was that you watch football all the time. Not all the time. I it's, guess- uh, It's not always on. I, I guess- an off season. <laughs> what I mean by that is you watch sports all the time. Yeah. And for me, like certain sports I like and certain sports I don't, football being one that I don't love, just because I don't really get what's going on or like who has the ball at any given time. And because everything is seasonal, it's like one season is baseball, then all of a sudden it's football season, then we're watching the World Cup and soccer. And it's like, it never ends. Every day of the year is a sport. It's a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning, I'll tell you that. And those are all of the things that each of us learned about the other when we moved in together. So yeah, we've lived together for four years now. This is our second apartment together. We're continuing to learn new things about each other every day and- It's always an adventure. It is always an adventure. <laughs> I know I mentioned this at the beginning, but the reason that we started talking about this topic is that I made an IGTV video a little while while ago talking about living with a partner before marriage. And my general take on it was that I think living with a partner helped us to iron out all the kinks and maybe get past some of our disagreements before we actually got married. Because now that we've been married for a few months, we can say that it's so great to come home and live together and know each other's living style and to not have any of those earlier fights or disagreements that we had at this stage in our relationship. We're so over that. I'm so happy that he learned how messy I was back then and that he could talk about it with me and we could kind of clear the air about schedules and living styles and cleanliness before we got married because now that we're living together and we're in this honeymoon phase of our lives, we just are happy and living our lives and that's our take on it. But I know that there are some ideological or religious reasons why people might not actually be able to or want to live together before marriage. So that's totally cool and I think it just, everyone does it differently. Thanks so much for coming back to Lucy's channel. It was so great to talk to you today. And thank you to Michael for coming back to the channel because the people want you here. Comment below, let us know what other videos you wanna see from me from him, from us. I'm happy to pin him down weeks in advance to get more videos out of him. We'll see you next time right here on YouTube. Love you all. Bye. We're still here. <laughs> 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 okay, bye. <laughs>